Welcome to Dark Horizon Creations. I'm Mike. This time we're taking a look at the Star Wars, the Black Series Inferno Squad Agent by Hasbro. Now, if you hadn't already, please follow, like, and subscribe to my social media accounts on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bell icon so you get a notification of when I post new content. All right, so today we're taking a look back at the Black Series GameStop exclusive Inferno Squad Agent. And these guys were central to the single player campaign of Star Wars Battlefront 2. And Inferno Squad is an Imperial Special Operations Detachment commanded by Aiden Versio. And she's the lead character within the campaign story of Battlefront 2. So, taking a look at the packaging, you can see that you have your standard Black Series box, which has been beat up, as they sometimes are at GameStop. In the lower right, you've got some really cool artwork of the Inferno Squad agent. And the artwork is nearly identical to the type of artwork used for the Imperial Shock Trooper. You can see that this is from Star Wars Battlefront 2, and this figure is part of the Gaming Greats assortment, despite that label not being on the box. On the back of the packaging, you've got your brief bio. It says, Inferno Squad Agent. In the wake of the Death Star's destruction, the Empire created the Inferno Squad to ensure that Imperial secrets would remain safe. Their fierce loyalty to the Empire and exceptional skills in both aerial and ground combat set the squad apart from the rank and file troopers. Right, so here we have the Inferno Squad agent outside of the packaging. The first thing you're going to notice about this action figure is the gloss clear coat that has been applied to the flight suit, the gloves, the boots, and the helmet. You can see that a matte black was used on his belt, the chest box, the oxygen hoses going to his helmet. Everything else has that gloss sheen to it, and that really makes this figure stand out and gives it that lifelike appearance that you see in the game. Let's bring him in closer so you guys can see the attention to detail there on his helmet. You got the Inferno Squad agent symbol up here, the Imperial symbol up here. You can see that they used a translucent plastic for the lens on his helmet on each side rather than it being painted in. All the details on the chest box are painted in, all the switches. That looks really cool, the lights. You've got some silver paint apps on the side of the oxygen canister, which is really cool. Inferno Squad symbol on his right shoulder, striping here on the side and on the side of the helmet. All the way around, this is a nice looking action figure. As far as articulation, his head is on a ball joint. It will pivot and rotate and the oxygen hoses will pop out. They're supposed to do that. You can just plug those right back in to those ports. Forward and lateral movement at the shoulder. You've got bicep rotation and no, no lower bicep rotation there. Elbow rotation wrist rotation and wrist pivot torso is on a ball joint limited range of motion due to all the equipment in the flight suit and i think it also has waist rotation as well if i'm not mistaken it's hard to tell because of the belt and everything being there Forward and lateral movement at thigh, thigh rotation, double jointed knee, and no lower leg rotation. The foot's on a ball joint, it will pivot and roll. Let's talk about accessories. The Inferno Squad agent does include the E11D blaster carbine, and it's done in a black with some gunmetal dry brushing on it. And you can see this version does not have a glow rod attached to it. And they do include the holster. And for whatever reason, the holster on all these figures is mounted on the left side. I would like to see them include these where they can be uh, removed and attached to either the left or right side. But I don't think that is possible on these figures. And the belt's removable. You can see it's got the little uh, mushroom 
connector here that goes through the belt. Now for comparison, let's bring out an Imperial Army officer so you can see how they look together. That's really cool. I do like those figures. Here's a Black Series Stormtrooper from the Mandalorian. You can see how they look together. Here is the Imperial Shock Trooper. Here is a Stormtrooper Commander for comparison. They look really cool together. I like that. Now let's see how the Inferno Squad agent looks with some of the other special operations units from the Imperial forces. Here he is with a Shadow Stormtrooper. And last of all, here he is with the most elite special operations soldier within the Empire, the Death Trooper. They look really cool together. I do like that. Overall, it's a really great action figure. I would have liked to have seen the Inferno Squad agent with an interchangeable head sculpt, particularly with Iden Versio's head sculpt. Maybe they'll release that as an archive figure in the future. As they are, they make really great troop builders if you're into dios and toy photography. So there you have the Star Wars Black Series Inferno Squad agent from Battlefront 2 by Hasbro.